Hi, uh, today I would like to show you how is it to install a bigger oil filter on Mazda 3. It is called M1209. The one that I put usually is uh, M1102. And this is the difference in height. The di diameter is the same, the height is different. So the two one, the thread, all the things is the same. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to some forum where, where someone put uh, all the details of both filters so you can be sure it matches you, the threads, everything is the same. Um, okay, so you see the difference is only the height. So it's 3.4 inches uh, vs 4.8. It's uh, more than an inch bigger. Okay, it's the height, only the height is different. So I think it is better. This is relevant only for those people that changed um, changed their oil uh, spin on instead of um, the you know just the filter replacing only the filter as it comes originally. Okay, so this is the bottom, the plastic. Here is a hole, and by the way, this doesn't match the filter. Filter it is a little to the side. I heard that some people have the plastic. Uh, some different version of plastic so it's a little shifted okay now there is not much gap between the here is the filter between the filter and the plastic and um, when I measured I didn't try but when I measured it will touch it now I thought what this would be if it touches it will be like this I don't know I will try and I will um, after I put it on, everything back on, I will tell you, it, uh, is it touching it? And after a few days, I will tell you, do I hear any noises or anything? So it's just some trial. Uh, okay. uh, don't laugh at me. This is how I change oil. I got it from a dollar, dollar tree. I have it for a few years. See you when I get dirty. This is the difference in height here uh, how it looks installed I want to show you to see uh, is it lower than the lowest point of the car now well, this is one eighth of an inch lower than this is this point it looks like the the, the bottom here okay but there is a plastic so and I don't do off-road with this so supposed to be okay and I'll show you how it looks when the plastic is installed this is the plastic on um, the whole of my plastic is not does not match the filter the filter is a little to the side okay so if it's this is the there is the back of the car so my filter is somewhere here. Okay, now it touches it. Okay, it touches it. Um, I'll show you later with the engine on to show you does it vibrate or anything. Does it make noise? Um, so one of the options for me, for example, is to cut the hole here. So if anyway the Mazda engineer said, yes, let's make a, a hole where the filter is, so I can make a hole where the filter is and then it will not touch okay there will be no contact now there is a light contact and the next part I'll show you with the engine on ah but it looks everything uh, the same it's not that it uh, pulled uh, two inches below or something like that it's it's just a little touch and a little lower here is the engine running, it vibrates very lightly, the plastic, I just see that it vibrates, it's not that uh, I feel anything, it's not that the, the car shakes or anything. Okay, but it vib vibrates very lightly. I turn on 60 FPS, intentionally try to show you the vibrations, image stabilization is off, but I can't, I can't make it uh, being seen 
this plastic, this part vibrates. That part doesn't know. And I can't show it on video, but I see it in my eyes. It vibrates very lightly. Now, it absolutely doesn't bother me. It, it's not anything shakes. I will leave it like that, I like it. I prefer it like this. A bigger filter with these slight vibrations. But don't fool yourself. It touches and it vibrates the plastic. I think it's only the plastic. It's not. It's not. It's very flexible. It doesn't uh, uh, transfer the vibrations uh, other other places. Okay. And if you want, you can. Um, if your filter exactly here, then it is absolutely no problem. It will be a little below. Not below. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If not, I can, for example, I can cut here a hole and it will not touch the plastic absolutely. But I, I, I don't want to cut the hole in my plastic. It's, uh, it, it, it just does not uh, bother me enough to do that. So here it is. Um, and everything else is the same. Okay, uh, so some summary. The filter touches a little the bottom plastic, the cover plastic. Uh, the cover plastic uh, vibrates very lightly. I am absolutely okay with that. So I and I prefer a bigger filter with this uh, vibration. Now always an option to cut a hole. If your hole of the plastic is in the same place, then it's the same. It doesn't touch and doesn't vibrate. If it's a little shifted to the side, then you can cut another hole and then will also will not vibrate absolutely. But for me, it doesn't bother me enough for me to cut that hole. So I prefer to leave it like this. So I hope it helped someone. Thank you. Good luck. Bye.